Yeah, it's hard to to keep up when when you th you think about every every time you see my high speed videos, each minute of that video is at least twenty minutes, if not more, of time. It's like. Yeah, I was actually explaining that to my daughter because she couldn't work out why he was going so fast. And I explained to her that it's a high speed camera and I used, I basically used my own video editing to show her what it looked like slowed down. She's like, wow, is it really that long? I was like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I slowed it down and showed her how long it was and that is quite impressive. One of them, I think, was like two hours worth of video that had been compressed down to like just a small amount of time. Yeah. I think I just heard a pig fall off the bridge. <laughs> oh, well. Send him to the fly. butcher. No. Okay, so, um, since I went to the other districts over here, I was, it, yeah, I put a fireplace in. Okay. I think I discovered the source of pig noises. Did you set the pig on fire? No, Fadman's dropping them on my roof. But I did set my house on fire. Ah, so it's not just me. <laughs> it's not. I fixed it, though. It's, is it ironic also that I was using a bacon gun to do that? <laughs> <laughs> I just see an egg behind a sheep, and I, I, I thought the bloody sheep had laid eggs. <laughs> That's a special that, sheep here in this yeah. town. Yeah, it's a I'm new kind of say. sheep. We did a little bit of crossbreeding. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a sheep that lay eggs. I'm like, where'd the egg come from? There's no chicken nearby. Bark. Bark, bark. Bark, bark, bark. Uh, stupid dogs. <laughs> <laughs> With my brother, his, uh, his cat and his dog worked together. It was quite bizarre. Like, the cat would get him to walk in there and then the dog would just jump on him. Ah, uh, the great dog-cat tag team. <laughs> it's a terrible and dangerous thing. They say it's a sign of the end times. <laughs> Dogs when you, and when you when you walk in a room and you find your dog reading the newspaper, that's when you know. <laughs> what was it that that Bill Murray's character said in Ghostbusters? Dogs and cats living together. What was the other signs of the end times? Do y'all know even what I'm on about? Oh uh, yeah, I know, I know, I know that one because I, I used to love the Ghostbusters. <laughs> Don't remember it, but yeah, they were funny. I used to have the action figures. I think my favourite character was Slimer. Because <laughs> uh, you wanted a big wet kiss from him. <laughs> no, it's just because he's he used to always go after Bill Murray all every time. He had a thing for him every time he see him. Well, didn't Bill Murray call him a name? Yeah. <laughs> and every time he sees him, now he slimes him. I, I like uh, when he got slimed the first time, and he and he was talking about it, and and the the one nerdy guy was like, "Oh, that's amazing! You got slimed!" And Bill Murray just kind of stares at him, like, "Really?" <laughs> <laughs> I got a sheep in my house. I liked Egon. Intelligence is entirely too overrated these days. Underrated. Yes. When he made that, when he made the to <laughs> that, that toaster dance. Way to be. <laughs> yes. <laughs> or when he or was... when, when they came when they came up against that um that uh, that evil character in the painting. Oh, they they took the right mick out of him. I I like when um. Egon is talking about he was going to drill a hole in his head and it was going to work. You just stopped me too early. And everyone's just looking at him like, really? Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> Urgh, I hate microblocks. <laughs> Don't say that. Doss is still here. You should love microblocks. They don't burn. <laughs> That's why he doesn't like them. <laughs> I've pretty well replaced most of this house over here. I'm working on micro blocks because the fireplace has set them on fire. Well, there was a perhaps an easier answer to that. No, they need a fireplace. That's it. That's the end of the subject. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm going to actually start hiding raft lamps around my houses now because really lights them uh, up well. Oh, please get electrocuted again, Dur. No! <laughs> God! <laughs> I've never heard of lightning striking anyone before. That that's strange. I've been struck by lightning. It's not fun. In Minecraft. I don't have that kind of luck. If I could get struck by lightning in real life, I'd be playing the lottery more. No, I, I always I always thought you couldn't get struck by lightning, I'm guessing that seems to be not true now. Well, you know, it wouldn't have been so bad except for it wasn't even raining. It was a bright, clear, Minecrafty day, and was you was you standing near any any um, totems or anything like that? Because they they are they're like electrical magnets. I was standing on a piece of a totem, yes. So you would have that way. You would have been struck <laughs> by lightning then, because they they attract energy. Oh, it's brilliant! Oh, it's so funny. Yeah, you little hyena. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, I don't have a door. Oh, door me. <laughs> uh, I like how everybody could remember the name of the fish from uh, Finding Nemo, and I could not while doing the record. <laughs> yeah, you see, that's one of the ones I use when I'm I'm cycling there. It's just kind of cycling up a, a hill or something. Just, just keep swimming, just keep swimming. Yeah. <laughs> I I had I used it when I um when I went mountain biking a few years ago and broke my leg on the backside of a mountain and the only option was to mountain bike out. So it was clip in a leg and just keep pedaling, just keep pedaling. That was um Yeah, I can imagine that was not great fun. No. I know I know they said break a leg, but not really, not seriously. Yeah. And then I waited a few days before I went to the doctor because I was, you know, not really sure if it was broken. And then I was supposed to fly up to Canada and I was like, well, I guess I should have it checked out. And I went in and they're like, yeah, you broke it. <laughs> Oops. It was summarily keel hauled after that. Yeah, I was, I got in trouble for that. Because I went mountain biking by myself with nobody else around, so... Oh, uh, at least you didn't chop your leg off to get back out again. Yeah. But I was told I couldn't go mountain biking again unless I had somebody with me. <laughs> oh, uh, I, I, I love it. Uh-oh. <laughs> what Could do you... get my beacons. Oh, good grief. Oh, dear. See, we left Stocko alone too long. Yep. Whose bright idea was that then? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go see what he's done. Are you jetpacking because oh, you're not in creative? Good grief. Yeah. Still didn't go to creative? Well, I, I issued the command, but it won't let him fly. Oh dear. Those are, those are, the, those are beacons. Uh, not very medieval. <laughs> <laughs> I know it doesn't fit in, but uh... <laughs> I find the inverted lamps. <laughs> Is there not an inverted candle? Oh my god. You know, Stucko, I think I think we have to start the Beacon Lovers Club. And, oh, nice. and to to try to heal <laughs> heal you from your beacon loving. I heal you, brother. Oh dear. Uh, it, it. I was watching um, your the really the other day, Dare. Really? What? I told you that there that a lot of floors just go straight into holes. <laughs> uh, Blame it on the can of coke, then. Blame it on the boogie. <laughs> Blame it on the what? 
Blame it on the boogie. Don't blame it on the sunshine. Don't blame it on the moonlight. Blame it on the boogie. Oh god. <laughs> we're going okay. there. Everybody, we're going there. We're going back to the 80s now. I can't get that song out of my head now. <laughs> <laughs> blame it on the boogie. <laughs> oh goodness. I do just the, can't. I just can't. I just you can't. Do the dance as well, Stucco. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Blame it on Stucco, says Jellybean. <laughs> Busting some moves. Um, oh no. What was it my brother was saying? Apparently, one of the more recent ones is throwing some shapes. Throwing, throwing some shapes? shapes. Mm hmm. What's wrong with kids throwing these days? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> They're psychologically scarred by all of us. <laughs> <laughs> I would believe that. <laughs> Same when my 17 year old daughter asked if she could have a tattoo, and I blatantly said no. Uh, What's wrong with a tattoo? It's only permanent marking on your skin that you can never get off. And when, you look, and when you're 80 years old, it looks awful and terrible. Well, it all depends on where you get it. You know, if she tats it, she she was saying she wants it on her hip. I'm like, well, at least nobody will see it then. Well, that's true. What I, what always makes me laugh is is I I knew a girl in college. She had a pair of dolphins tattooed around her belly button. And I'm like, you know, when you get pregnant, that's gonna look like a couple whales. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Trying to read the the chat while still laying down flooring and it's just not easy. Uh, <laughs> do uh, Bad derping man off my own. Uh, Simmer, believe it or not, I have looked at buying that. Um, I just can't bring myself to buy Toilet Simulator. I, th <laughs> I thought that was a joke. It's Toilet not. It, it, I, I figured I was going to... What I thought, Simmer, is I was going to I was gonna buy it and gift it to uh, Stocko. <laughs> there really, there yeah, really is games like that. I can't, I can't believe that. <laughs> what, do you just have to perfect your aim or what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I really don't want to know. That's why I think I'll just give it to Stocko. <laughs> Well, you know what they say, it's one they're giving a crap gift. <laughs> <laughs> I think the worst one somebody said, you know when I, I think on one of my videos I said, um, come on then, what's it, make some simulation games up, and I think somebody said Death Simulator. Can you imagine playing something like that? Wow. Well, if you were... Well, isn't that what the Surgeon Simulator is, basically? <laughs> well, it is if Stocko is involved. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Star Trek. Oh, well, Star Trek Online, we're going to try and do a live stream of that. I'll only join if I can be Picard. Well, I was trying to figure out what your starship's name would be. <clears throat> um, I don't know. The I USS, don't... I don't know. That's a good one. How about the USS? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> is there enough space to do the USS Panda Team Six? Um, this is Feed the Beast. Possibly. Yes. USS Derp. Apparently. No. I think That's you have that. Easy. You've got that covered. Mine's the Oriana. Whatever. It's just because you misspelled. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I derp spelling derp. Yes. <laughs> Call it Oriana. I think the USS HMS should be done. No, my my daughter's asked for a ship to be named after her. She wants it the USS Cookie Monster. That works too. I would only do that if I could paint the ship blue. You'd like to paint the ship purple and pink. Well, the Cookie Monster is blue, though, so that doesn't make any sense. She does like blue, but she li uh, her two favorite colors are purple and pink. I always wondered if Cookie Monster ever, if there was ever a Cookie Monsterette. <laughs> People are saying you should call it USS Moose. Or <laughs> <laughs> well, the HMS Doko. <laughs> <laughs> Why uh, no, Moose? No, the HMS Panda. Ooh, there we go. What about the USS Doroko? 
No. Oh, oh Brian, <laughs> I'm drunk. Yeah, what well, what they could be saying? Launch their torpedoes. <laughs> Launch their torpedoes. <laughs> Perfect. Do it. Uh. There, there would be no red alert. It'd be the derp alert. <laughs> can you imagine this? They can imagine the uh, the warning sound. Derp. 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 That's only that's only if we if we spot the uh, USS Ariana. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm in the stream too. Well, factor nine. Saying that you gunned down my flagship. No, if I if I needed to do um condition, I don't know what was said. I've I've now forgotten. <laughs> I was going to answer somebody, and then the conversation wandered off pace, and then I lost track of what was going on. I'm so confused sometimes. Do I enjoy working on with stock one feed the beast? Who wouldn't? He's a big derp. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Every time things start to slow down, you can always count on Stocko to say something to make everyone laugh. <laughs> <laughs> that ought to set his house on fire. Oh, well, there's always that. Do you know what? People saying that I done that on purpose, and I really didn't. I did not mean to set the house on fire. It uh, it just happened. Is that what you told the insurance company? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, but Joe didn't like, you know, help come to the rescue with a, with a bucket of water or anything. He just stood there and laughed. Well, I then know. I tried to chainsaw the stuff down for you, but by that time you'd given up. <laughs> you just chainsaw. You just my house. <laughs> You know what? I saved the glass. <laughs> <laughs> You're a good friend. Uh, Friends like Dare, who needs creepers? <laughs> hey. At least creepers are not nuclear powered. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one worked quite well, didn't it? What? Nuclear reactor. Yeah, it worked really well until off screen when it blew up. <laughs> yeah, but that was hilarious again. Yes. Well, I got told it, it worked in that all of the blast damage went out to sea as you intended it. Yes. Yeah, but we died of radiation, so <laughs> the blast didn't kill us. Everything, yeah, the radiation did. And like me and Dara was just talking, and he was ready to press the record button, and then all of a sudden our hunger bar just turned green, and then we're both taking damage, and we're like, uh, what's going on? Uh, I don't know. And then we started running away, thinking, you know, <laughs> if we run away, we'd be fine. Uh, and we both died. Run away from a nuclear Poor Billy's reactor. a pig. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even hear a bang or an explosion or anything. It was just... Nope. Just, just you, gen you generally don't hear that. When, when you put it in all that reinforced stuff, you don't hear it. The only yeah. question is, there did Stocker leave the reactor on? No, it was it was the way I had wired in for the teleporters, because they the they were drawing so much power, it forced the reactor to stay on at max, and I had never designed the reactor for that. I had designed the reactor to be just on the very edge of being able to operate without blowing up. <laughs> so and the contingency didn't work. I was busy. Ground floor to Major Tom. Ground control. <laughs> Come on, get your quote right. <laughs> the quote police. <laughs> I'm going to try and mock me. At least do it properly. I mean, God. <laughs> <laughs> At least try. I wanna... Okay, I'll remember that next time then. Alright, let's see. What's Fad up to? Fad is working on this building, which has become a. Ah, health inspection. Very good. Well, people have Apparently to wash their like feet. Your oh, jeez. The, the, um, the, the upper class and normal classes would come through this side if they were heading this way, and or would have to go through the foot wash. Okay. All right. They have, they'll tread their dirty feet all over the um. All over the. <laughs> all over the. the Right. We'll have the sheepskin rug. And Toby's got this 
nice looking place going on here. We're getting closer and closer to actually having all of these lower class houses. DOS is doing microblocking. There's a shocker right there. I'd let's, never have guessed that. Let's all be shocked. <laughs> <laughs> She's threatening me with a stick. A oh. Minecraft stick or? A Minecraft stick. I'm just a now seeing on, on the TV you looking at me kind of going through the footwork. <laughs> <laughs> don't, you, don't you just love streaming live? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and we got Gatekeeper over here making this very posh house. Yeah, it comes with a basement as well. Excellent. And the one yeah. I set on fire over there? Um, I know which one you're talking about. I see that it hasn't burned down, so you must have fixed it. Except for a block is missing, which I presume means that it burned. Very likely. Yeah. See, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to put just an orange inverted lamp in my fireplace and then put a smoker on the roof. Well, mine's got a smoker on the roof. I like how you can... Oh, no, I guess you can't fall in. I make sure people can't fall in. How do you get downstairs? With the stairway. Oh. Yeah, see, there's a hole right there. Oh. <laughs> Do you think they had people called Dave back in the back in the medieval times? Why wouldn't they? They didn't. They would have had the TV chat. <laughs> <laughs> no, they, they would have had a guy standing in the box speaking from a piece of paper about the news. Uh, put um, mezzanine or whatever they want to call it. Yes. That's a that's a posh word even for me. <laughs> We don't say that word often in London. <laughs> we say it away in Governor a lot, but that's about it. Uh, where Apples, is and my... Apples and Apples pears. Apples and pears. Apples and pears. Dig a grave. Guy rocket. Alright, we're gonna go... Go with here, I think. Yeah, I think we just confused her with the Cockney rhyming slang there. You confused me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, skyrocket is pocket. Uh, dig a grave, have a shave. Apples and pears, stairs. Mutton Jeff. Jeff. Dog and bone. Bone. <laughs> Wasn't there one for Adam and Eve too? Uh, believe in it. I don't Adam yeah, and Eve. Yeah, I think, yeah, yeah, believe. I don't Adam and Eve. Bioshock it. references for the win. <laughs> <laughs> do, do, do. Hey, do we know where the fishmonger actually gets fish in at? Mm, from the water? Some in at the bigger docks over here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do. We do need a fish. We do need a fishing wharf or something. Agreements, disagreements. Evil land stars for everybody. Evil land stars. <laughs> I'm so sick of finding those. Give me something useful. <laughs> what did you just give me, Fadman? I just threw about. Uh, I threw a stack of slime balls at you. <laughs> it looks like snot. <laughs> 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 but it looked like snot, it's just snot. It's snot, though. It's not snot. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, Fad? Oh, good. Get the pig out of my face! <laughs> oh, pigs. I am actually taking them out of the city and laying them down safely rather than just catapulting. <laughs> I'm it's being nice. It's, ra it's raining pigs. I was, I was worried that the RSPCA would... I, I, found, I found something for um, for Fad and uh, Stocko when, when... If you come to my, the house I'm building, I've got something cool to show you. So we, we can set up a Stocko alarm. <laughs> a Stocko <laughs> alarm? Uh, 
Yeah, I'll come to where there is, I'll show you. Two... Oh. Where am I? <laughs> <laughs> I just keep flying until I see your name appear. One, two, three, one, two, three. Bloop. One, two, three. Okay, that's perfect. So now... We'll go... About your posh house gate. Uh? About your posh house where you work. Uh, heading towards Dura. Well, I'm at a posh house. Somewhere. <laughs> I'm in the corner. I'm at the, the big inn in the... Down stock, eh? <laughs> Oh look, the two of you. Hello. Hola. There's a book thing here. Gatekeeper on the roof that doesn't have an actual access. <laughs> oh. Stacko, are you are you writing things down? Uh, no. Should I be? I don't know. <laughs> you were walking around with a lectern in your hand. <laughs> Alright, yeah, look. Stocko alarm. <laughs> <laughs> Loud noises. Oh, hold on. I have to turn my, my sound on. It's a beacon with a sound effect. Beacon of you with sound. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Sound the alarm. Warning, oh. Stockholm has entered the building. <laughs> this is called the industrial alarm. It's maybe, like the maybe when you built your reactors, you, you should have included those. Yeah, exactly. One in, Stocko is in the building. <laughs> yeah, set up tripwires so every time he enters. Better view, I like it. <sighs> I like to know. I like to know why you'd have one of these set up just for me, like anybody else walking into your house. <laughs> yeah, really. If I walk in, I get these alarms and and flashing beacons. It doesn't seem fair. So it's, it's, stock, it's just your love of fire. I want to be cautious. <laughs> you're a stockoist. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, I mean, the, the beacon is for you because it m might distract you. Distraction. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> like it's distracted with beacons. Why did I come into this house? I mean, it's not like I was going to set it on fire, but uh, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> you won't. You're never going to live gonna that down, these, Stocko. Um, <laughs> these posh houses um, being up higher than everyone else's. It's almost like they can look over people. Uh, poor Stocko will never live down burning his house down. <laughs> nope. I, don't, I, don't think, I don't think YouTube will ever let him. That's true. Do you know, I'm pretty sure that if I would have recorded that on my own, it wouldn't be on YouTube, but I knew that Dur had it, <laughs> and there was no way he was not going to put that. Up. Uh, I always think that's part of the fun. That's why, um, doing the single when it goes wrong, I still can't. Eh? Okay, you know what? Uh, yeah, but the whole episode was like literally me building this house, and then at the end of it, I didn't have a house. It was just like a waste <laughs> of an episode. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no, it wasn't. <laughs> it was like the it was like the climax at the end. Yeah. <laughs> Twilight like Insurance Company kind of um, went bankrupt after that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was surprised Dad didn't uh, build a um a stock a, a stock exchange or a insurance shop after that. <laughs> yeah, exchange your stockos here. It was looking really good as well. It was, it was. It was just that nether rack, you and fire. I do love the nether rack though. I mean your your machine shop had nether rack on the roof for a very long time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yes, until until Nocentia decided for safety's sake it should be torn down. <laughs> yeah, we'd never had a fire in the machine shop, ever. That's true. Like, no, you had something worse, you had a nuclear meltdown. 
and I, I'm going to wash my hands with that one. You know? Yeah. I, yeah. I might have built a house and burnt it down, but I never, never blew up a, a nuclear reactor. It's true. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest problem with re nuclear reactors, and especially making them safe in Minecraft, is the amount of stuff you need is just unbelievable. And it just destroys all your resources to get you even a... The one that we had was not even a big reactor, but put a big hurt on all of our resources. Bob, nope. did you put a pig inside my bakery? <laughs> and that sounded really yeah. dirty, I know. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What? No, I've, yeah. I've, I've been taking the pigs and stuff away. So. Okay. I did drop a pig on your bakery, but it died. Oh, it that didn't. It, it didn't make a pig roll then. Well, it rolled, but it died. <laughs> well, now it's going to be sausage rolls. Nom nom nom. <laughs> How many hours did you spend doing this, Dur? Doing which part? And, and us. Um, all of it, really. How long has it taken you to do all this? To do all of this, probably a couple hundred hours. Wow! That's fun. Toads. Who's to who's who are toads? <laughs> what? They put an alarm right above me, and it scared the crap out of me. Oh <laughs> 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 And what makes it worse? It wasn't even a beacon alarm. It was a standard alarm. It was a howler. <laughs> Four houses left on this side of the, uh, oh, five. Five houses left on this side. Oh, wait, no, I lied, there's more. Oh, oh well. Yeah, I've just, I've just built a little kitchen into this house over here with the red uh, roof. All right, we got... Oh, these guys do have a little bit of money. <laughs> that looks nice. Not that little, little chimney. Yeah, cool. You can aff you can afford the fancy bricks for the roof <laughs> and the chimney. Now stock was over here. <laughs> ah, here's the rich house, the rich person's house. That is one big bed. <laughs> Quite the interesting house with, oh yeah, quite a basement too. And let's see, Das is running around putting up all of these lights so we can actually see things. I have no idea where Fad Man is. Yay, he can't find What are you doing? Not sure yet. <laughs> Help me with street lights. Okay. They all want me to come check on you, Stocko. <laughs> Why? I don't know. They're saying put that beacon down now. <laughs> <laughs> that worried. You've got a so reputation. The trust, the trust is just oozing out of chat, isn't it, for me to <laughs> I think you've developed a reputation. The beacon flower. <laughs> yeah. Elevators instead of stairs. Well, it's a medieval town, so... Unless you're going to get a poor person in a, a giant hamster wheel. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that mental image. <laughs> um, no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> 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 Come on, there'll be a. Ch we'll we'll put a little drink thing. You can just re lean over and drink from a little water thing. We'll put little pellets. Would you put vodka in the water? Ah, <sighs> uh, the cheap Polish potato vodka, maybe. And that's a deal break. Got to be good vodka. <laughs> 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 they move. They're creepy, crawly leaves, and it's it, disconcerting. Oh man, that's cool. 
I thought about using it, but I didn't think anybody was so poor that they were going to have a completely bug-infested thatch. Mostly. We can actually do a pile of leaves somewhere and just... Creepy yeah, woodly leaves. Yeah, I'll show you the, not the, wood, the creeper leaves, the creepy leaves as well. Creeper leaves works too. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, those are kind of, um... <laughs> Hmm. Yeah. Maggot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoa, is that moving? Is that maggots? Yeah. <laughs> I like how Stockholm comes in after everything and then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if we if we were to do a compost heap or something, I suppose that would be good for that. No, no, no. It's I have an inventory full of fish. <laughs> <laughs> Show the gates working. All right. Uh, I think the exit's behind you. Another interesting light source is be you. these beacons. And I mean, literally, there is a beacon in the game. I don't know if you've ever thought of that as a light source. I'm all over that. Oh, it's behind me. You're right. <laughs> oh. Did you want to backfill? Hang on. I'll come over to there where you are, uh, Doss. <laughs> I'm in a um, hole in the ground. You're in a hole <laughs> in the ground. Okay. I'm digging yourself a grave, but that's ridiculous. We kind of did dig yourself a grave. I have to remember, Hi. I think right side is up. We're about to find out. Yeah, have a look at these. Normal beacons. There we go. Normal beacons? Yeah, they normally put them on a pyramid and they shoot a, light, a beam in the so air. So then also the be gate used. is closed. Or mostly closed. Here's something else we were thinking. Closed. Do guys. Yeah, and then you can put like a bush or something on top and make it... And then we go back and we use the well, left they're one. they're up on a post. They don't make much of a difference. Post in bricks. And, because and the gate is open. Because these you can just make them decorative look. I'm stuck on a ladder. There we go. There we go. Have you decided which uh, lamp you're going for yet? It looks like we're at a blinking IKEA lamp show here. Yeah? Oh, good grief. Let's go check out the IKEA lamp show. <laughs> hey, Stocko, you want to come to IKEA? Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave that to you, peeps. Good. You guys look like you got it. Wait. Thank you for everybody having feedback on this. That's okay. What are you doing, Stocko? He now has a lightning rod, so... Oh boy. <laughs> I found okay, it. Cool. It's my new favourite toy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm finished? Oh wait, I didn't actually do the roof. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Thank you so much for uh, for showing up. Thank you for for watching us for six hours of building on this massive town. And... Uh, Thank you all for your support on YouTube as well.